Hello, today we are going to deep off our patient Brandon's case. If we check uh, his photos before the operation, uh, he has severe hair loss. Uh, he lost all the hair in the front and in the crown. And also his hair loss is moving uh, into the donor zone, receding into the donor. He has a, rec a recession in the donor zone too. And he has tiny hair in the uh, midsection. Of course, uh, we draw him a new hairline. I marked the zone that he is losing his hair, but I put an X there to uh, explain him that I will not uh, implant anything there in this, in this session. Of course, before we start, I also informed him that he may need two sessions because his uh, hair loss is severe. Uh, but we tried our best uh, to give him the most coverage we can uh, in one session. So we extracted uh, the maximum amount of grass from him. Uh, and I also showed with linear marks uh, in the temples him the, how the frame will look after the hair transplant. You can see that uh, his right side lost more hair than his left side. But in this session, I did not implant anything there because I needed all the grafts on the top of the head. So uh, we uh, extracted the maximum amount of grafts and uh, we uh, started from the front, uh, designed the hairline, and then uh, we moved to the crown. Uh, and after uh, I believe that I had enough coverage there, I moved to the uh, midsection and increased his uh, density in the top of the uh, head in the midsection. And uh, after 13 days, uh, you can see that uh, he has some hair, mm, his donor zone looks sparse. And I want to uh, mention here that the donor zone will look uh, not really good after one month or two months because it still needs to heal. In this uh, time period, some of our patients really become frustrated. They think that they are over harvested or uh, it will not look uh, good anymore. But uh, in the upcoming months after it's sealed, it looks much, much better. So uh, in the first month, he loses all the hair and then the waiting uh, time starts. I will jump to the sixth month. In six months, you can see that his hair is uh, really grown well, but uh, the hair in the front grew, uh, but there's no hair in the crown really growing. So I must inform you guys that uh, the hair that we implant in the crown always grows later than the front. So you will still have to wait for the hair in the crown. And when we uh, go to the ninth month, you will see that his hair is uh, very thick in the front and uh, he has a decent and nice amount of coverage in the crown. Also, his mid midsection of the hair is really looks nice and dense. I think that he will still need a second surgery in the future because he will uh, his hair loss will be continued. Uh, the ones we implant will stay there, uh, but the uh, hair that was already there will be lost in the future. Of course, we advise some medical treatment too. So. Uh, it depends how long he will uh, take the medical treatment and how well he he will look after his hair. And he is one uh, other happy patient. And I'm pretty sure that the density in the crown will be increasing in the uh, next three months too. So uh, he's still waiting his full result.